So this is an overview of UTM parameters, what they are and how you can use them to track where traffic is coming from to your website, why they've arrived and how they got there. UTM stands for Urchin Tracking Module. Urchin was a web analytics software company before Google came along. Um, they kind of invented the UTM parameters. Now, UTM parameters are if you wanna track traffic coming to your website and you wanna know where they've come from and why they've arrived. So it gives you a little bit of context about who your web visitors are and then can also give you some context about where your conversions are coming from so you can put more effort into those marketing channels. So let's just have a look at a standard link. And in this case, I'll use wpelevation.com as the example. So let's say somebody is coming to wpelevation.com in their browser. Usually what happens is uh, if, if we're using UTMs on this link to track where that person's coming from, then after the URL, we'll see something like this. We'll see a question mark, and then we'll see uh, UTM underscore source equals, and it might say Twitter, right? And then we might see another bunch of UTM parameters here and the link ends up being really long. So let me break down exactly what these UTM parameters are and what they mean. Remember, this is all gonna be on one line, but for the sake of this exercise, I'm just gonna write all the UTM parameters here and then explain what they mean. But just bear in mind, it'll, it'll just look like you know this. Um, that'll be an and sign and then it'll say UTM campaign equals so on and so forth, right? So let me just break down what they are. So campaign is the thing that we're promoting. So at the moment we're promoting the content strategy blueprint blog post. So in that case, I might just put here CSB underscore epic underscore blog. The source is where they're coming from. So in this case, I've actually posted this link onto Twitter because I want to know the traffic's coming from Twitter, so I've included Twitter as the UTM source. The campaign is the content strategy blueprint epic blog post. The next one will be Medium. And Medium is the thing that they've clicked on to get here. That can be a video, an email, a tweet, a Facebook post update. It can be a group post. It can be a info card on YouTube. It could be a social post. Or a, or a quote card on Instagram. So you just wanna give as much detail about the thing that they've actually clicked on. In this case, I'm just going to say organic underscore tweet because it's something that I've just tweeted onto Twitter. The next, there are two UTMs left. There are two parameters left. The next one is content. And this is usually um, the this differentiates this tweet from another tweet. I'll come back to this one in a second because what's really more important is understanding UTM term. And these things get mixed up a lot. Term is the keyword that you're bidding on. So if you're using UTMs when you run paid ads, this will be the keyword that you're actually advertising against. If this isn't a paid ad link, then term will be the audience that you're promoting it to. Does that make sense? It's either the keyword that you're going after or the audience that you're promoting it to. So in this case, this could be Troy's followers, right? These are just examples. The content is how do I differentiate this particular tweet from any other tweet that I'm sending to the same um, URL. So for example, in this case, I'm sending people with the content strategy blueprint epic blog, but I might tweet three or four different nuggets from that blog post to send people back to that blog. So in this case, it might be here, um, authority, because that's one of the pieces in the camp in the epic blog post. The epic blog post basically walks through the four different types of um, campaigns to structure a content strategy, awareness, authority, engagement, and conversion. And in this particular example, I've used Twitter to send people to my content strategy blueprint epic blog post. I've done it using an organic tweet. I've mentioned the authority campaign that we teach in the blog post, and I've sent that out to Troy's followers. Now, all of that piece together will end up, you'll end up with this huge link 
And if you look at the link, you can reverse engineer, this is where the audience has come from, this is the campaign, this is the medium, this is the content, and this is the term. And all of this information will be reflected in your Google Analytics, which you can then plug into any of your other marketing dashboards. So that, in a nutshell, is UTMs, what they are, and how we use them.